Now we're going to edit a user account. We're going to select one account and click on the edit button and you'll be prompted with the following information. You will see the name of the account. That is the only value that you cannot change. You have the email you have down here as well. That can be edited. You can also add a secondary email. If you have, for example, a two-factor authentication method and you want to use a different email address for that, you can set it up in here and change on the configuration file which email address you're going to be using for 2FA. You also have the total quota, use quota, available quota, use storage, all the information is available in here. You can upload the picture. You can set the, the, the access level. As you can see, this is a full account, but we can change it to guest limited or disable it at any time. The authentication method. If I created this account with the default system, but I want to connect to the external Active Directory and the account name matches on the Active Directory, you can simply change it to here and it's going to be using Active Directory for authentication from now on. We can also change the display name. You can set an expiration date on the account. You can set an expiration date on the password. You can check this box if the, if the account has been verified via email. You can disable sync for the user. As we talked before on the admin settings, we can disable sync for everyone, disable sync per team folder, per network share, but we can also do it per user. And we can also disable sync for network shares for offline access in here. They are two separated values if you want to decide to allow team folder synchronization, but not network shares, you can disable it in here. You can see the backup path and this is for the endpoint backup security and you can just see that all the files that are being backed up from this desktop computers are going to go to the backups folder. You can decide to promote these user as an admin. I can click on this checkbox and it's going to tell you that we need to assign specific roles and permissions in the admin section. We can request the user to change the password on the next login. You can see that if this account was created by, by a single sign-on system or by the file cloud system, you can set a phone number and this phone number will be used if you are using two-factor authentication using SMS and you can add some notes to the user.